In this video, I'm going to be going over how to install the RetroMic Mining Tools onto the all-new NiceHash OS 2.0. Today is the official launch of the alpha version of NiceHash 2.0 OS and I'm proud to say that we actually have the RetroMic mining tools working on it. So this doesn't necessarily give you the ability to manage it from within, uh, within NiceHash. However, it does allow you to uh, still access it on your local network. It's an alternative. If you are running NiceHash OS, you can install the RetroMic mining tools and connect it to Hive OS rigs, connect it to your Gold Shell ASICs, uh, do auto exchanging, pretty much take all the benefits that the mining tools have to offer. And it gives you an alternative installation path. So first thing we've already done is we have, if I pop on over to my F drive, I've flashed NiceHash OS onto a uh, USB, it's actually a uh, MSATA USB adapter. <clears throat> and so we need to open up this configuration file in Notepad. You can just double click it, it should open. Uh, if you already have the JSON extension mapped, if not, just open it with Notepad. And all we need to do in here is you'll want to set your mining address, which you can get off of NiceHash. You can set a rig name if you want. Uh, the important thing here is under user, you need to set a password. And this allows you to SSH into the system. Without this, you won't be able to SSH in. Uh, so we're just going to set to that. We're going to name it. Uh, I'm just going to name it test OS. We'll just do test NHOS. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab my mining address. We're going to save this. We're going to plug it into the system, and I'll see you back once it's booted. All right, we're now over in the NiceHash dashboard, and we can see our rig is here, the test underscore NHOS, and it's actually automatically benchmarking. Uh, I just plugged this into a laptop, so there's only a CPU, so it's currently benchmarking with XM rig. But all we need to do here is click these three dots, and we want to just copy our IP address. And then we can open up PuTTY or any SSH program that you may want to use and go ahead and paste it in our IP address. Hit open. And now the username you're going to want to use is NHOS. The password's going to be whatever password you set in your config file. Go ahead and enter that. And we're now logged in to our rig. So here we can see that we've got uh, the Ryzen 5 3500U with the Radeon uh, integrated graphics, six gigs of memory. <clears throat> so now what we're going to do is we're going to run the installer script for the uh, RetroMic mining tools. Uh, and you can get this command in the description below, or you can hop over to the GitHub and grab it from there as well. And we're just going to paste in the command. And all this is going to do, this is going to download the NiceHash installer for NiceHash OS. And the important thing here is we have to run bash as sudo. It's a little bit different than using HiveOS. Uh, with HiveOS, that default user account is root. Uh, in this case, this account's actually a little bit different. So we do have to elevate to run it. And now you're just going to let the script run. This is going to do all the same things it would normally do on a Hive OS rig or a standard Linux installer. It's going to go out, it's going to install the .NET package from Microsoft, it's going to install all the dependencies, and it's going to uh, get RetroMic mining tools up installed and the service running. So we will just uh, let this run for a minute, and I'll see you guys back when it's done. Alright, and it's done installing, and here we can see... It's been installed and gives us the URL to navigate to. So let's just go ahead and copy this. Let's open up a Chrome window. And there we go. We can see it is up and running. Uh, we can hop over to our core configuration. We can see we're running on NiceHash OS. 
Um, if you want to change the port, change any information, uh, you can do all that from here. So everything is up and running. You can configure Hive OS rigs. You can configure your Gold Shell ASICs. You can configure auto exchanging all from within here. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions about the different functionality, definitely check out the overview video where I go over uh, essentially all the core functionality that is in the mining tools and how to configure everything.